Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 1st through the 7th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Saji, what's going on? The overall energy for the reading, the Justice card. Trying to bring balance into a situation. I kind of see you trying to do that. Um, and I kind of get the sense that it's kind of working, you know, overall as an energy. In the recent past, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Something was brought up here in terms of this is your new direction, your new life. This is a new energy. Take it or leave it. And you're like, leave it. So I don't know what this is. Definitely kind of an energy opening up in terms of possibly a new opportunity somewhere um i don't see you necessarily taking it or if you did you're definitely emotionally disconnected from it i don't know in the current situation the nine of swords the seven of pentacles the page of wands <clears throat> something's bugging you about a situation here but despite that i kind of still see you bringing in or trying to bring in um positive energies to it kind of like you know what even though this is bugging me about it let's let's keep it cheerful let's keep it nice you know um because <clears throat> you do want for things to work out in this situation in the immediate future the sun the page of cups the knight of wands um energy is definitely getting a whole lot better in terms of even though now you're showing up as, eh, there's a little something there that I disagree with. Um, you're not showing up in that energy anymore. It feels like whatever it is you're trying or you're do doing right now in terms of bringing in good energies to the table, it's working and it's bringing good energies to the table by the looks of it. So let's clarify. Let me do the justice card. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Five of Swords. You're really trying to work on yourself a lot, on your own sense of stability, on your own sense of stepping into your power, basically. And there's a whole lot of things you're pushing out in terms of things you may tell yourself that are not true. We all do that. You know, that self-deceptive energy, that self, oh, you know, no, things are going to work out in this situation and everything is fine. Everything is all right, even though mm, not, not really, it's not quite fine. Um, but this is a self kind of an energy where you're trying your best to identify the ways in which you are possibly deceptive at times, you know, with yourself, um, not even with others, but with self. So there's definitely something working out here in terms of you're working on yourself a whole lot. And it's starting to, this energy is starting to balance out. It's starting to show. Um, let me see that Ace of Wands in the recent past. Wow. Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. I don't know what this is. It feels like it's a good energy, definitely placing you onto, let's say this is your life up to this point, and then this energy shows up and is saying, you're not moving on the same path, you're going to start moving on this path right here. By the looks of it, it's a good one. It's... The energy is good. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I don't know if you took it. To be honest, it, it would have been, or it still is, maybe it's still around, this energy. Um, something you would have learned a lot from, by the looks of it. And you know that. You know? Uh, let's do the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> Almost like changing a major um at your university or something um 
Eight of Cups, you get the Ace of Pentacles again, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. You got all the Aces there. I don't see you taking this, but I see you having something going on in terms of, you know what? I don't want this because I got my own going on. I got my own energy of that going on. Not, not probably the same direction, but in energy, it kind of feels the same and it feels like you've got a handle on it. Huh, I like this. Usually when this happens, I would see an energy of, you know what, I'm exchanging this energy for this energy, but they're very similar. They're like, I'm exchanging this energy for the same energy. But in this one that you're taking, you're creating it, you're making it happen, which is even more self-empowering. It, it gives a sense of, oh my God, I love this energy. So I don't know what the hell happened here, but you did good. Let's do the Nine of Swords in the current situation. Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Um, I kind of get the sense that you're working on, there's a fear that's shown up here, a fear of loss, a fear of failure. Uh, you're working on it. <laughs> you're carrying, uh, talk about duality, Saji, you're, you're the one that always brings it up for me, uh, in readings where it's like you're carrying two energies at the same time, one of... I've got this, you know, I'm, I'm working on this fear. I've got a handle on it. Everything's fine. It looks great. On the other hand, you're like pissed off at this energy or you have a sense of, ew, I'm upset with this energy. So it's like you're carrying both. Uh, rejection and acceptance over it. And it's a tricky one because it, it does cause um a little bit of stress around it when you have when you have both energies um i don't know it's quite fascinating how you're experiencing both at the same time let's do the seven of pentacles in the current situation the Judgment card, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, I mean, you keep on pushing through it as much as sometimes it's going to show up as icky, you know, as, oh, I, I'm really uncomfortable working with this energy. You keep on working. You keep on giving your energy to, I got to figure this one out. I got to figure out how this fear that I'm carrying is preventing me from engaging in all sorts of things and all sorts of experiences. And you are, you're actively working on it. Despite the fear, despite the thoughts that it brings to the table. Uh, let's do the page of wands. There's a lot of self in this reading. There's a lot of work on self, which I love. Uh, for the page of wands, you get the queen of pentacles, the page of cups, the seven of swords. You're still not open fully to the aspect of self-love. You're trying. You're really trying, you're really giving in that direction, but your heart is not fully open um, in that area. You know? There's energy going in there, there's playfulness, there's things you might do for yourself to make you feel good, but the actual sense of loving yourself is not, it's there, you're just kind of turning your back to it, you know? Uh, it's trying to, to get in. You're not letting it yet. In the immediate future, for the sun, you get the Queen of Cups, the Temperance card, the Eight of Cups. And if happiness does knock at your door, which I see it doing as an energy, because you're not fully open to the self-love aspect, you might turn it down. You might be like, I, I'm not home. Happiness is knocking. You're like, I'm not home. Because you don't have it. You know, home is not here yet. You're not home yet. You gotta open the door here for you first. 
you gotta start knocking on your own door when it comes to opening up to self-love because again happiness does show up around the corner there knocks at your door and it doesn't find you home let's do the page of cups the two of swords the lovers the two of wands okay there's a whole lot of confusion about that aspect because i see a connection here and i see you focusing on that instead of focusing on the fact that that connection might actually teach you about that about that aspect of self-love it is tied up to the self-love that shows up in your current situation that you have your back turned on and that energy is tied up to this connection so this connection instead of you waiting for it to come from the outside look at how it's teaching you to open up on the inside you know because as much as you're going to wait here again you're not going to be home if it comes over and knocks at your door Let's do the Knight of Wands in the immediate future. The Chariot, the Fool, the Eight of Wands. This is great energy. Uh, this is an energy that I kind of get the sense that it's coming your way and you're responding to it kind of in the same way that it comes in. So it's, it's great the way it shows up. There's a whole lot of passion. Um, there's a whole lot of exchange of energy, good energy. Uh, in the moment kind of energies, in the I feel good, so I'm going to respond to it in a good way because it feels good kind of an energy. So I don't know what this is about. It feels like it's good. It could help you out in opening yourself up a little more in that self-love department. Um, I see it more as a, not as one energy necessarily, as energies that surround you. Interesting. Let me see what the universe has to close it off. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. This is this fear of failure or abandonment. Where I feel like you've been avoiding it for a very long time and now things something shifted, something changed. That as much as you've you've been trying to avoid it, now you're coming back to it, which I saw in this reading here. So there's definitely a sense of focus on you working on this fear currently. Hmm. Through this fear you might incorporate the self-love energy because you do have to be gentle with yourself for uh, you to go through healing this fear so anyways that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye